Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi Nube. Uh, we are still on about giving advice to Zimbabwe exemption permit applicants who are trying to move to other South African permits. And this time uh, I'm going to respond to those who have been asking on how they can apply for a waiver, where they can apply for, wa for a waiver, and the other nitty gritties of applying for a waiver. So why, when you want to apply for a waiver, what you do is you go to the VFS Global website. Uh, it's www.vfsglobal.com slash zep slash South Africa. That is where you're going to find all the information you need. Uh, and then you go to they, there are sections, it directs you as to where you need to go to apply. Then when you get to their, uh, to that section where ZEP holders apply, you will find where it's written, apply for a waiver. What you do is you click that section and then it will direct you to an online form that you have to fill. You fill it in just in the same manner that you fill the form to apply for a, a visa then you submit it and then you pay and then you book your appointment after you book the appointment you then take the necessary documents that they need to the vfs global offices and submit it there uh, and then you can wait for their outcome before you can go ahead and apply for the permit that you want that is the advice that we've given from them but i would like you to also note that there seems to be some mix-up in the information that they have because it depends on which uh, official you find. There are some who are saying that you need to apply for a permit and not for a waiver unless you've been offered, I mean, you've been called to come and submit certain documents. That when, that's when you can apply for a waiver. But this morning we called them again and we were told that people need to apply for a waiver because a waiver is then used to determine which kinds of documents that you need to submit, you should not submit, which should be waivered. And I'll go through some of the uh, events where one can apply for a waiver or common scenarios where one can apply for a waiver. Uh, you can apply for a waiver uh, if an applicant cannot produce a police clearance certificate. For example, you are based here, you have never been to Zimbabwe for the past maybe 18 months or more, and you believe that because they need... Uh, police clearance from Zimbabwe and you cannot tra travel there, then you can apply for this to be waivered. Uh, you can apply for a waiver uh, if you are unable to return to your home country to apply for a temporary residence visa. Uh, I think this doesn't apply for ZEP holders because they are allowed to apply for their temporary uh, residence visa here in South Africa. You can apply to reduce uh, required investment amount of 5 million rands for a business visa only done if a positive outcome is received from the Department of Trade and Industry. So that is for those who are already running businesses here in South Africa who do not yet uh, satisfy the provision or the requirement for the 5 million rands for a business visa. Then you can apply, as we told you a few days ago, for a, a waiver on that requirement. Uh, if an applicant does not have the NQF level needed for a particular critical skills category, but can make up for it through experience. So if you're in a critical skills category, you know there is a category that was uh, published by the Department of Home Affairs, but you're qualified, uh, I mean, but you have the necessary experience, you, you have the required knowledge, then you can apply for a waiver if you're already employed in that particular field or you already possess those particular skills and you can be tested in them, then you can apply for a waiver even if you don't have that NQF level that is required or if you have some form of a qualification in that particular critical skill but you do not meet the NQF level as outlined in the Immigration Act uh, category for critical skills, then you can apply uh, for a, a waiver of that NQF level qualification. Uh, then you can apply again for as businesses applying for a blanket waiver for an identical requirement for the corporate visa this is the last uh, scenario that is given uh, for people who can apply for a waiver so 
that is what you need to do i hope you will take advantage of this time to apply as fast and as soon as possible for a waiver because as i told you last time it may take between four and seven months for a waiver uh, application to be adjudicated processed and then uh, an outcome uh, sent through so you have just less than four months for the zimbabwe exemption permit to expire this is the time you must uh, take advantage of be fast in applying for a way for your waiver and then wait having applied at least it shows that you've done something thank you very much uh, i hope you're going to take advantage of this i hope we've assisted people who needed to know more about this please subscribe to this channel like this video and share it thank you very much